we are here. We're gonna go to Jake's Corner and then we're gonna take this road down back into BC. That's the border right there. Down to Atlan. And this lake right here is Atlan Lake. It's a very big lake and it's absolutely gorgeous. So once we're in Atlan, we're gonna probably stay at this campsite here and then go out to Surprise Lake out here and spend a night as well, or maybe two. We'll see how the weather is. Raven is the official Yukon bird. Yep. So we're just coming up on our turn off here. 100 kilometers to Atlin from this corner. Hi, I'm Susan. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll enjoy this video as we head into Atlin on our Yukon car camping trip. Look at that scenery. That is just spectacular. This is Little Atlin Lake. It has a really nice big parking lot right along the lake and lots of reviews on iOverlander for people staying here overnight. But a beautiful, beautiful location. I would stay here, but I'm just so close to Atlin, I think I'm just gonna keep on going. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the beginning of Atlin Lake. Oh, isn't that beautiful? such a beautiful country. The wind has definitely picked up here. Can you hear the waves? This is a really nice rest area, really pretty. Especially being right on the lake like this with all the trees. Could stay here, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna carry on. It's still really early. I mean, it's only 4.30. And Gracie has once again taken over my seat. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, get back in there. Go on, move over. Look at the blue sky. That's so good to see. We're two kilometers away and the sun coming out from behind those clouds. There are some really neat old buildings here in Atlin. Some that are used still and some that are just not. So let's go and find the campsite first and we can do a little bit of a tour around Atlin tomorrow. I have stayed in some pretty sad campsites. <laughs> in my time. <laughs> this is the saddest. So first we have this picnic table. Whoop, just about knocked over my bottle of wine. <laughs> then we have the fire pit. Una's managed to already get hooked on this thing and flip it right off of there. But it's it's pretty sad. It's not cleaned up. It's not maintained. This is the first site I went into. These picnic tables are in a little bit better shape. There's a pile of bear crap right in the middle of this one. <laughs> they want what it said was $10 a night on iOverlander. Well, now it's $15 a night. So I'm not impressed. That over there is the free firewood, which is the cut sides from lumber, from trees that have been cut into lumber, which I'm fine with, that's not a problem, but it's all cut quite large. <laughs> oh goodness, this table is kind of dangerous, <laughs> but I'm going to make another one of my keto 
quesadillas, I guess. So I have my grill monkey with me. Let's see how it opens up. Oops. Oh dear. How did that break? That's not good. I'm gonna have to get Trev to work some magic on that. This piece is broken off. There's a kind of a contact cement type of thing. You mix the two together. J, 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 B, weld, J, B, weld. I think that's what it's called. It's gonna have to fix this because that's extremely annoying. I had to order this from the UK because I couldn't find one anywhere in Canada or the US. So it was ordered from the UK. It wasn't actually bad for shipping. I got it on Amazon. But I'm still going to make my thing. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Nice. Hi, Una. <laughs> Una sees meat. <laughs> it doesn't take long with this stove. This stove is way hotter than my old one ever was. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to make another one. I'm also going to have a glass of wine. I've been carrying around this bottle for the last few days. It's actually one my daughter gave me for Mother's Day while we were traveling down in the States. And I just never opened it. We had, I think, a box of wine or something that we were working our way through. So I never opened it. So I'm going to go get my corkscrew and open it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And I picked up this really cute wine goblet that has a lid when I was traveling last year. Oh, good. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> I really like these. They're so simple, but they're so good. I'm using Swiss cheese and the meat I was using, I don't know if you get this in the States, was a Freddy's, a taste of Europe, with German style charcuterie salami, very classy, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> as crappy as this campsite is, it's still very pretty. If I don't look at the picnic tables and other stuff in the campsite, <laughs> and the sun has come out, it's still pretty nice. So I'm just out taking the dogs for their nightly before we crawl into the car. It's almost eight o'clock and it's starting to cool off quite a bit. These guys will still settle down with some chewy sticks. Gracie will have her little Anuba treat. We'll call it a night. Tomorrow, I think I'll go in and explore Atlan some and then head out to Surprise Lake which is a free campsite by a lake called Surprise. <laughs> Been out there once before, but not for at least 20, 23 years, I think. We were at one point looking at being transferred to Atlin because of a person who was making threats against uh, my husband and the family, uh, some bad person that he dealt with, who tried to poison one of our dogs. And we were under surveillance as far as they had video surveillance around our house for a few months. But they thought that if things started to go sideways, they would transfer us to Atlan. And we were very excited about that. We stopped and looked at the house here on our way to Alaska, and it was so nice. Would have even been able to take our horses with us because we had horses at that time. It was a big A-frame house. I was so excited. <laughs> but the way things turned out, he ended up moving out of town. We stayed where we were. Still love Atlan. It's a really quirky, quaint, uh, I don't know, kind of a hippie little town, I guess. And the scenery around it is spectacular. I wanna show you some of that tomorrow. We'll go and visit some of the old historic buildings. 
and look at the scenery because that's what is especially special about Atlan. And then we're going to head out to Surprise Lake to spend the night out there and then probably head up to Whitehorse after that. I'm not sure. Well, it depends on the weather. If the weather's really nice, we'll probably stick around. You can see a little bit of the sunset through the trees there. And this campsite is very weird. There are picnic tables down below here, which is kind of outside of the campground area. And I think they're walk-in only. I think they are like tent sites, but they don't really look like they've been used a whole lot. And I don't really know how you're supposed to get to them. We have to do a little exploring and figure that out. So we kind of found an old trail next to where the road goes into the campsite, but it's on the opposite side of where the rest of the campsite is. These don't look like they've been used for ages. Picnic table's actually in better shape than mine. <laughs> but the trail goes along here. There's more along that trail there, but you'd have to walk through other people's campsites to get to your campsite. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna walk along this trail anyway and see where it goes. We're coming up on another campsite. Hidden down here below the other campsites. So here's another one. And then the trail goes up. So I'm assuming that goes up to the rest of the campsite. Good morning from the name of this campground? Pine Creek Campground in Atlin, BC. It is freaking cold. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of bed this morning because it was nice and warm in the car and it was really cold outside. I actually had to put my work gloves on to keep my hands warm while I was busy getting things cleaned up because it got so cold. So I'm going to see if they have any like woolly mittens in town when we go in. I'm just making a cup of coffee right now and the kettle seems to be taking forever to boil probably because it's so cold and I left the water outside but the dogs have been out for their pee, I've been out for my pee, gotten dressed, got the car all cleaned up and back in order again so I'm just making my coffee and then we're gonna head out. I can't wait to start the car to get the heater going. <laughs> it's really cold. We're ready to roll. I'm going to sit in the car and get cleaned up while I drink my coffee and the car warms up. But I just had to go down to, uh, it's over, over there, <laughs> um, and pick up the garbage can because there was obviously a bear here last night. And I'm glad he didn't come and wreck my stove because I left my stove out with the kettle all full of water ready to make coffee this morning. So obviously he wasn't interested in those, but he did tip over the garbage can. He didn't make a big mess, but yeah, <laughs> that's what happens in bear country. So you can see by the bits of sunshine on my face <laughs> that the sun has come up and it's blue sky up there, which is wonderful. I'm really happy about that. But it is really, really cold here right now. So we're going to head into Atlin, leave the Pine Creek campground here. I won't be leaving great reviews for this campsite on iOverlander. They put the price up $5 from when somebody last recorded it, and it really needs some work. The picnic tables are rotting. They're actually kind of dangerous to sit on even. The paint's all peeling off of them, which isn't good. If you're gonna pay $15 for a campsite, you expect something that's being maintained, not just left to its own devices. Uh, the bathrooms are really cute. I will show you a picture of those. Um, they're little log A-frame type of buildings. They're really cute. And they are not bad as far as being well stocked with toilet paper. They don't have toilet seats. They just have holes, like a, a hole cut into a piece of plywood. It's been painted and everything, but it would be nice to have a toilet seat as well. They felt clean, but there was so many cobwebs in there. I mean, somebody going in there with a broom, just knocking down the cobwebs. To me, it's just like a no-brainer. But this place is maintained by volunteers, and I love volunteers. Volunteers make the world go round. <laughs> if they paid somebody during the summer months to come out here and clean this place up, 
I mean, charging $15 a night, you think they could afford that. Somebody just coming out, you know, spending an hour or two just tidying up the campsite, to me would be well worth the money. Otherwise, where's the money going? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about how Atlan works this, but it is a municipal campground. It's a campground that the town owns. It just could be so much more done here. I just, I, it always bothers me when there's things that I can see that I know that could be so much better if somebody just cared a little bit more. Anyway, it's here. It's close to town. It's only two kilometers outside of town. And I appreciate having been able to stay here last night. Anyway, I'm going to get cleaned up, drink my coffee, and head into Atlan to see what there is to see. And this would be why Atlan is such a beautiful place to live. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? If you lived in a place that looked out on this, <laughs> you'd probably never want to leave. Isn't that beautiful? The water is just pristine. So is the view. Stairs, cool. There's slabs of wood. Raw edge. I was just in the store grabbing a few things, and right here are a bunch of beautiful poppy plants. And the lady behind the counter had to run out and stop someone from stealing one of the pods. They're not ready yet, they have to be dried on the stem. But <laughs> They're pretty possessive about their poppy seeds here. There's even a sign on the wall saying, don't take them. three of these lights in our house. <laughs> See you in the next video when we head to Surprise Lake.